come home and talk to the parents about smoke detectors. Come here, Kenzie. Knowing two ways out of all the rooms that they uh, sleep in. Uh, over here. And this year's uh, theme is kitchen safety or preventing kitchen fires. And so we've, we've done the cooking oil fire for a couple of years. We weren't going to do it until NFPA rolled out the theme for the year. We thought, well, it would probably be good if we did it one more time. So what we have for you to see is a pan of cooking oil that has been left unattended. So of course we know to, to always attend to all of your cooking, keep small children away. And if uh, Firefighter Albeck removes the cover, then he can just step back. Well, let's see that cooking oil. Uh, it had ignited before. We'll see if it uh, ignites again. We might have to give it a little help. So you can imagine if you had uh, smoke, smoke detectors in your house, you'd have been gone off and you would see this problem in your kitchen. Hopefully uh, you'd go calmly and remove the heat. Now our cooking oil has started on fire and when the cooking oil is burning, you might uh, panic and you might think you got to grab that off of the stove or do something to put the fire out. But really, the, the safest and best way to put the fire out is to simply smother it. And so if he smothers this fire just by putting the cover over it, and it doesn't have to be the lid, it can be any kind of cover that's not going to burn. The cooking oil is no longer burning because it's starved of oxygen. And if we would shut the, the stove off, then you would have the fire under control. You wouldn't want to move the pan. You'd let it cool, back away, and, and uh, you would have a close call. Now, if you remove the lid again, You might have to smother it a little bit. There we go. So <laughs> if you uh, have the, the fire going and now the, the cooking oil is on fire, notice the smoke is diminished. Uh, the smoke is diminished because it's uh, actually what is burning right now. And one of the problems with a cooking oil fire is that if this is happening in your kitchen, you could imagine you'd panic and you might grab the first thing that you think of when you put out fire, and that would be water. The problem is when we put water on cooking oil that's burning, the cooking oil is in excess of 600 degrees, and as soon as the water hits the cooking oil, it immediately vaporizes, and when it vaporizes, it brings the oil out with it. And so that's the real problem with using water on a cooking oil fire. Um, imagine that this is a regular kitchen with cupboards and drapes and other flammable items hanging around. Uh, you'll see the fireball that comes out could easily ignite other things, but worse is the person standing close to the stove. So we don't ever want to see or hear of people using water on a cooking oil fire. The proper way to put out a cooking oil fire is to cover it, to smother it. Firefighter Albeck is going to demonstrate what happens if you put water on the cooking oil fire. And uh, you'll go ahead and Chris, you can pour the water on. This is a one cup of water. Now you can smother the fire, Chris. You can see that. And he's properly smothering the fire, removing the heat. You can imagine the problems that you'd have in your kitchen and for the person that was holding the water. So the lesson, hopefully, is to never use water on a cooking oil fire. Never use water on a cooking oil fire. We simply smother it. Now, our, our other demonstration, our next demonstration, this is like ninth grade. Our next demonstration is going to be on the back side of the hall, and we 